Hi, this is Emily with Cozy Clicks Photography and today I'm going to be showing you how to add extra light to a photo. So we're going to take this photo here which I've already done a little bit of uh, Photoshop work to and I think it looks great as I'm looking at it but I feel like it's just missing a little something. Um, and I think it's kind of trendy now to have that little added um, light leak into the photos. You may have seen um, a lot of photographers um, adding just a little bit of extra light. So that's what I'm going to show you today is one way to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to <coughs> go down here and I'm going to add an adjustment layer and I'm going to go up to gradient. So we're going to click on gradient and we're not going to have a white gradient. So I'm going to double click the color here. I'm going to double click this color stop here and I'm going to choose a sunny a light lemony yellow color like this one looks kind of nice so I'm gonna click OK OK there this doesn't look like a natural light leak at all um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the style right here it's on linear I'm gonna change it down here to diamond um, and what I can do before I hit OK on that is I can take this diamond and I can move it wherever I want to on my photograph if I take a look at her, I'm going to pay attention to where the light is falling on her hair, which it looks like it's almost directly on top, um, hitting, hitting really directly above her. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put my light source, well, look at that, directly above her. Okay. Um, I'll move that out of the way so you can see it. Uh, that's a little saturated right there for me, so I'm going to go to the scale and I'm going to bring it up just a little bit so it makes it a little bigger uh, maybe that might be too big so the diameter is just a little more and I'm going to scoot it up just a little bit so I don't have such a heavy um, center of my light leak there and I think that looks pretty good so I'm going to close that out now <coughs> I don't want this on her face I think that looks too light so what I'm going to do is just hit um, the layer get my black brush and I'm going to brush that light yellow gradient off of her face and you can see it already looks kind of beautiful like that okay like a little bit of sunlight is kind of shining through her in the forest full of the flowers what I generally do um, with most of my Photoshop layers adjustment layers that I do is I take the opacity and I take a look at what I think looks good and then I always lower it a little bit more just to make sure it doesn't look super fake so with this one I'm going to take it and I'm going to drop it down just a little bit and then okay it looks pretty good right there so I'm just going to pull it down just a tad more just to make sure it doesn't look too fake um, so I have it at about 76 percent and there you go we added a little bit of extra light there so you can see I can turn that off you can see it looks pretty there um, but it's missing that little bit of light. You turn that gradient layer back on and that just gives it kind of the, the boost that it needs to be spectacular. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, please subscribe to my channel Cozy Clicks on YouTube. I'll be adding more and more uh, Photoshop tutorials. Uh, and thanks for your time. Thanks for watching me.